Hi guys, and welcome back to a, another special draft on my channel. At the moment, the, the good drafts I'm getting are just... I'm getting so many of them, which is really, really helping the sort of quality of the videos, which I'm sure you enjoy, and it's definitely good for me to see a lot of people subscribing and a lot of you guys, you know, joining the subscriber family on the channel. But to start with this draft, I was actually thinking of picking the left hand most player throughout the whole draft. There's an interesting idea that one of you guys came up with. So to start with, it won't always be the best picks. I'll hold my hands up to that until we get sort of halfway through. The picks won't always be the best player. So I won't be drafting, you know, the best way I could. Some of you think I'm bad at drafting anyway, but I won't be getting the best player for each position early on. So as you can see, we're just going for the left hand most player each time. Luckily, we don't actually get any, you know, bad double ups or anything like two quarterbacks or something. We actually end up getting pretty decent players the whole time. And at this point, Amari Cooper, you know, it's not the best pick available, but I'm definitely going to take him because, as everyone knows, Amari Cooper's broken in this game. And we end up getting golden ticket Manziel pop here. And at this point, I was thinking, you know, screw going for the left hand most player each time. I'll do that in the next video. So thank you guys for suggesting that. But... That'll be coming in the next because I didn't want to pass up on a golden ticket Johnny Manziel there because I've never used a card of that quality because I think he might be the best golden ticket available because he's like, he's got amazing throw in and he's got the running quality of a running back all in a quarterback. So, and luckily I got a playbook that has a lot of read options in it. So I'm going to be abusing that. But we actually get Corey Fleener twice in a row here. So the gold one's going to be move. I'm going to move him to wide receiver because he's got pretty good run block. I mean, he's got not great run block, but it's a lot better than some of the wide receivers that you'll get. So I'll be able to run to that side a lot, hopefully with Johnny Manziel or one of the running backs that we'll get. And sorry for the video cut in there, but I was I was so excited at getting Johnny Manziel. I accidentally clicked. I was just checking the thing was recording, and I ended up clicking the record button, which I need to stop the recording. So I had to click it again, restart the recording. But luckily, we didn't miss any picks. All the picks in that round would have been good, but I'm going to go for a middle linebacker, beef up the line a bit. And this pick here, not very good. Every pick is a double up pick, annoyingly. But since we've already got two tight ends, Witten is a phenomenal card. But I'm going to go for the strong safety there and move one of my safeties to cornerback. So hopefully we'll have you know more diversity in that position. Going to get another wide receiver, Ted Ginn there, just for the vertical threat, because... I didn't have much else at that point. I mean, Amari Cooper, but it's always good to have more than one option. And luckily, we really needed a running back at this point. And um, we got we got LT or Dickerson. Not sure who to go with. I mean, I love LT as a card, but I haven't used Dickerson that much this game since uh, since the start of this Madden. To be perfectly honest, so I'll give him a go at this point. Let me know what different picks you guys would have made down below. Because a lot of you would draft differently to me, which I found out in a fair few of my videos. I thought I went with the vast majority on picks most of the time, but apparently not. So let me know down below what you guys would have done differently. And there's a little glitch in the game here, actually. If you, I don't know if it's just with Johnny Manziel, because I haven't ever checked this with a golden ticket. But if you go to check his stats in the sort of screen here, you actually get a glitch because it says undefined. So... That's pretty interesting. But I'm going to jump into the first two games of the draft here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it up to this point. Smash a like on the like button if you have. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below who you would have drafted differently. But moving into the first game here. I mean, unfortunately, I was starting on defense. I know I usually love to start on defense. But I was so excited to use that golden ticket Manziel. I just wanted to get straight on offense. So I'm going to go try hard mode to start on early here. I'm going to... Just totally go full coverage. He's going to launch it deep. And we end up getting a phenomenal interception there. I mean, if you look at that catch, if you want to go back and check it again, that catch, that shouldn't have been an interception. But I'm going to take it all day because I get a go on offense. Second play of the game. I'm going to try the read option early on. Unfortunately, he gets around that block. But if he hadn't gone around that block, Manziel was gone and that might have been a touchdown first play with Manziel which I would have been so so excited for but I'm going to go play action here unfortunately I didn't have a lot open but we get very lucky there with that catch I mean hold my hands up that wasn't a good read but we get lucky there good catch by I think it was Fleener but perfect throw by Manziel again and once again another play action and it the drag routes or slant routes like that are open the majority of the time they're, they're the routes that I look to the most so 
I'm going to go with another read option. Unfortunately, that was a terrible idea because he was not open whatsoever. But luckily, Fleener is getting open all game here. And his card is playing really well. I'm pretty sure it's a new card in the game. I mean, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's new because I've never used it or seen it. The movers version. But he was playing really well for me. And I haven't actually used Dickerson at this point. I totally forgot I had him. I mean, I was just excited to use Manziel. And I'm going give, to give Dickerson some reps here. And he's, you know, fighting for every yard. Making sure we get some good gains on each possession. Each play even. And we get a flag there. So I'm just going to, you know, do the play I was going to do anyway. Because we're going to get on the one yard line or get a touchdown. And at this point, it's pretty easy just to, you know, sneak the ball in over time. First play, we didn't get it, but we got a few inches. Second play, we managed to sneak in. I mean, not the flashiest touchdown in the world, but I want to get a few games in with Johnny, and I'm just going to take the wins where I can get them. This guy going for a screen pass here. Luckily, we have that locked up. That's another thing. Well, another thing. That's something user and alignment really helps with is screen passes, because otherwise, it's not something I'd be able to do. Third and ten here. He got a lot of yards off that pass. I mean, he threw it, and he... If I'd have tackled him straight away, he would have got three yards. But fair play to him. Good read. Wide open over the middle. But he's going to get flagged. And at this point, he'd had enough. Not sure what happened, but he just quit out of the game. I mean, it tends to happen a lot in draft champions. You get people just quitting and never getting a full game in. But I'm just glad we get to use Johnny for another game. And we're starting an offense this time, which I'm really excited about. I mean, Dickerson on the return. If I'd have just managed to squeeze out left there, would have got a lot more yards, but didn't expect to get much from a kick return off Dickerson. Maybe if it was Ted Ginn, but I noticed something over the middle there. This guy's defence was good. I mean, this was a very, very close game, this one, but I did notice something over the middle. I'm just going to hurry up because it's 4th and 18. I don't think he's going to change his play, and luckily he doesn't, as you can see. Four verts, Fleener once again, you know, pulling the team on his back there. And unless he adjusts, I'm just going to keep abusing that. So I'm going to call Harry up again and see if he adjusted. He didn't adjust his... Well, from what I can tell, he didn't adjust his play. And once again, Fleener is going to be open. And I'm just going to take the yards where I can get them. Because Manziel, he's not going to make a bad throw with what his throwing stats are all nearly 100. So I'm just going to take it when I can. But I'm going to go four verts because he couldn't seem to defend it. And luckily there... He nearly got an interception. He was just a step or two too slow. And I'm going to make the same read I was making the whole game, to be honest. And get in. And love this play. It's a play that I don't use as much, actually. It's the Z-spot. I think it was Z-spot play. Where he sort of runs up. And as soon as your uh, your guy on the right starts to turn, you throw it to him. And he's open the majority of the time. But this guy was gambling out the middle all the time. Fair play to him. I ran fullback dive. I think two plays in a row. So why was I not going to run it a third time? Halfback toss it in and Dickerson, I think that's his first touchdown of the run so far. But my guy here is his first offensive possession. I mean, we took the whole quarter to score, so he hasn't got tons of time. But this is, you know, his first play of the game. He's in a rollout and I think that was just very unlucky of him there. Because he obviously didn't mean to throw it where he did and he's straight, straight to our guy. I mean, I thought it was, you know his wide receiver to start with because of the throw, how direct it was to him. But I'm going to go with the read option. He gambled on it. See Fleener there. That is why I put him a wide receiver. And Manziel gets a lovely read option touchdown there. I think that might be my first read option touchdown of the year because I don't tend to use quick quarterbacks. I tend to use people like Tony Romo or Stafford who are really good at throwing, but not that good, you know, at rolling out the pocket. I'm a pocket passer. Love to get a touchdown with him there because you see people do that all the time. And he's going to go for a toss play. Got that locked up all day. Going to force him to punt. Fourth and 12. And it's a fake punt and he waited too long. I mean, if you wait that long, your guy doesn't actually have the throwing power to get it far enough. So we get lucky there. This guy has had enough at this point and he's going to quit out of the game. So if you guys are looking forward to, you know, third and potentially the fourth game if we get through... Smash a like on the like button. Let me know down in the comments if you're looking forward to it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow or the day after for the next part of this series.